Concerns about safety on the football field and spotlight tonight after two separate tragedies over the weekend. A Tennessee State University football player fights for his life after a head injury during a game on Saturday. The day before that, a high school player in Georgia died after collapsing on the sideline. Beth is now back with uh, the latest in this. Certainly tragedies in both cases, Beth. Oh, such a horrible weekend for football, Jeff. Very, very tragic. Trainers at a local college now say these incidents highlight the need for continued research to keep players safe. Dylan Thomas, a 16-year-old junior for the Pike County, Georgia Pirates, came out of a football game Friday night with what his coach thought was a leg injury. But soon after, he says Dylan became incoherent and passed out. Tragically, Dylan died Sunday, doctors say, from a head injury. They are rare. Uh but it only takes one really to bring it to the, the forefront. Dr. Sue Geyer heads the Exercise Science and Sports Studies Department at Springfield College. Players are getting bigger, they're getting stronger. Uh, the impacts are a little bit harder. According to the National Center of Catastrophic Sport Injury Research, in 2017, of the 4.2 million total football players, 13 died. Four from direct impact, like a head or spinal injury. Nine from indirect impact, like heat stroke. We have a long way to go because we're learning about concussions every single day, uh, but we're definitely moving in the right direction and being more protective of our of our young athletes than we ever have before. Geyer says as a whole, coaches today are much more aware and better trained in safety procedures. The coaches should be making sure that the players are going in head up, uh, making sure that they're facing the tackle, making sure that they're doing things appropriately so that um, they're not going head down tackle. That's where you see a lot of the injuries. She says researchers are constantly learning more more about concussions and particularly at the high school level a top priority has to be training sideline medical providers on the latest protocols. Well, a prayer vigil for the injured Tennessee State football player Christian Abercrombie is scheduled for tonight at 9. He remains in critical condition. In the studio, Beth Ward, Western Mass News.